Okay, so here's an interesting video of the morning. I'm going to try to explain this as best as I can for my more medical folks. And sorry about the shaking. My hands are not working so well. Okay, so right after my surgery, I went into neurogenic pulmonary flash edema. And you can see my breathing's not so good this morning because I'm going to go back into the hospital. My shunt is a Medtronic Strata 2.0 and it is programmed at level one. I think what happened is my brain told the rest of my body, wow, huge drop in pressure and we have a catastrophic injury. And so that's why I went into the neurogenic uh, flash pulmonary edema and they uh, had to save my life and drain off uh, at least three liters of fluid by giving me lots and lots of Lasix. I literally was sitting in post-op, just talking away on some good drugs, and all of a sudden my left lung, and it was just the left one, just started having tons of fluid, and I just started coughing it up. I just started blah, blah, and just red, horrible fluid just started coming up, and I just started coughing it up because I knew what was happening and I just wanted to clear my lungs so I could breathe air. Um, and all in all, they gave me Yankar and, I, and a liter of fluid came out of my left lung by the time I was done. Ever since that surgery, I have had severe activity intolerance. I mean, it's been horrible. And also after even the first night, I kind of sort of felt like the setting was too low. Um, and after the first week, I contacted his office and said, hey, you know, I could feel it pulling from the other side of my head. I could feel the left side of my body, like it's tingling. Does it feel right? It feels like one of those, you know, when you have, <laughs> when you have the cat, they kind of like found the little palmetto bug, the little cockroach, they got one leg, and the little guy's going in circles. This one leg's off. Th that's how I feel because the left side of my body doesn't feel right. It's like kind of weak. And I feel like I'm going in that left-sided circle because something's not right on the right side. It's like squishing down onto the tube. And I can feel the pain from the left side. So it's almost like it's pulling, pulling from the left side to pull it over as it's draining too much fluid. Meanwhile, my spine that used to feel like it was one of those circus balloons that's like blowed up too much when I had the overpressure now feels like it's a shriveled up little prune and dry because it's not enough pressure and, and it's hard to move my spine and it's hard to move my legs. and. I tell the doctors this and they don't like to listen. I told them a week out that it is not the right pressure setting. And the response is, oh, you need to get used to it. Then I tell them at the nurse visit when they look at the stitches and make sure everything looks good. And I tell them about the symptoms. And I tell them about the headache. I tell them about the spine. I tell them about the left side feeling weird. Oh, you need to get used to it. And of course, you know, here I am thinking that the weakness and things is, okay, well, I had a major surgery and I had that pulmonary edema and I stressed my heart. And so my heart just is like, oh my gosh, now I have to work it back up to strength. Just like, you know, when I was a runner and I took time off and then I got to work it back up to strength. All right, I think I figured it out. My brain still is in the mode where it thinks I had a catastrophic injury. Yep. It's still sitting here, pulling from this side, under pressured on the side where the tube is. See, the tube's back in here in the little ventricle, and it's still pulling out the fluid, and it's got a setting of one. So you gotta look up the Strata 2.0. I didn't look it up, but it's a low setting, so it's pulling out a lot of fluid, 
and it might be pulling that ventricle to the point where the ventricle, uh, the, the, the ventricle itself is like, instead of a ventricle being open, like an open, well, sorry, like, oh God, why is it doing that? Okay. The ventricle area is open, right? And, and it's pulling the fluid and the tube's supposed to be in there, but sometimes it could pull out all the fluid and then the ventricle edges touch each other. Well, when the ventricle edges are touching each other, I think my brain is now saying, oh no, well, wait a minute, there we go. Oh no, my body has a catastrophic injury and I should be dying right now. Like it did when I was in the OR. And pack you. And I went into pulmonary edema. You know, that neurogenic pulmonary edema that I had. Because the ventricle went whoosh. Because all that fluid came out. Which is good. Because it needed to come out of everywhere else. But. I almost died. And they didn't go back and change the setting and say, oh, maybe we should change the setting. Because maybe that was too much. They just left it there. So ever since then. I'm like a freaking walking zombie because my brain says you have a catastrophic injury and you should be dead so it keeps telling my heart and my lungs that I'm dying but I'm not dying I'm trying to live so every time I try to do anything my heart's like oh my god you should be dead right now why are you doing things so that's why it's been hard to do things. I get up, I try to vacuum, and it's like, dunk a dunk a dunk a dunk a dunk and I'm like, oh my gosh. <gasps> Ooh, this hurts. And then I got to sit down and relax for like 20 minutes to catch my breath. Or, you know, I walked outside and I was putting together like little tree branches for a friend of mine, and I was tying them together. And I made this really cool thing for him with the tree branches. But I walked outside and back like twice. Same thing. Don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go. And I'm like, oh gosh. And it was hurting and chest pain and everything else because this part of my brain was all squished together and all the fluid was out of it. And so all the fluid was out of my brain. My brain was telling the rest of my body, wait, you have a catastrophic injury. You should be dead right now. So even though I wasn't having the pulmonary edema, it was like being a walking zombie. Anyways, that's my theory. So, I need to go get this checked out. And I'm going to try to explain this to an ER doctor that my chest hurts and I'm having shortness of breath every time I try to do something. And hopefully they'll listen to me and understand that it somehow relates to the whole brain thing. And maybe they'll talk to the neurosurgeon. Anyways, that's my video for the day. Um, it'd be nice if, if other medical professionals maybe commented, tell me what y'all think. Does that, does that make any sense? Am I a little far out on this? Okay, well, I'll post some updates, but that's, that's what's going on. And you can see me just trying to talk. It's not easy. I mean, I don't think I'm dying, it just, it's hard. My brain thinks I am. I don't think I am. My, my, just that part of my brain that's being drained too much fluid, that part thinks I am. I just have to keep convincing the rest that, that I'm not, you know, I have a lot, I have a lot to do. I have a lot to do. All right. So anyways, I'll, I'll let y'all know how it goes. I'm telling you. What a story, right?